What's up, Internet? I'm Matt Guff from TheHouse.com, and this is a pair of 2019 Ride Lasso Snowboard Boots designed for all mountain freestyle riders that are intermediate to advanced level in ability that want a very low-profile boot that's pretty darn responsive and easy to use with a lockdown style heel. The lasso is actually a really great boot. It reminds me a lot of um, the Fuse boot from Ride, but in a boa kind of dial instead of a traditional lace. So everyone who likes the convenience of a coiler uh, boa is gonna absolutely uh, love this thing. Now the feel and the flex of the lasso is about a six, a little, little stiffer than your average style boot. Um, it has quick heel to toe response, um, but still has a little bit of movement both towards the nose and to the tail. So um, you still, you're still able to move around a little bit. If you like tweaking your tricks out or you like uh, free riding, uh, you still have a little bit of like a little bit of room to room to move. Now, one thing to note about the lasso, as you see, there's two boa uh, dials. The one on the 3D molded tongue is actually a 3D form tongue is a boa coiler system. So you loosen it and it kind of like goes back inside itself. So you don't have to, you know, you don't have to dial, reel it in so much when you're, when you're, starting to tighten it. The one on the side is actually what really blows me away and why I love the lasso so much. This is called tongue tied. This is not a coiler boa system, but watch how this tongue kind of sinks back into the heel pocket. This boa actually is connected to the instep of the tongue and it draws this section back so you get zero heel lift. This is, I absolutely love it so much because when you're, when you're riding around and uh, you, you have your boots tight, you want a little bit more secure feeling in that heel area, you can do that with the, the tongue-tied closure system. But after you're done taking a long lap and you jump on the chairlift, you can loosen this up and it kind of relieves a little bit of pressure so you have good circulation in your toes. When you get back to the top of the hill, tighten up just again. It's absolutely amazing and one of the reasons that I love the lasso. Uh, there's HDR style uh, panels. Uh, it's kind of a abrasion resistant style stuff that you find in the toe box area. There's a higher style backstay. The boot shell is actually quite a bit higher than most that you'll find in the line. That's why they're they're pretty dang good for um, all mountain use. Now I say all mountain freestyle because you know like if you're a big jump rider or you like riding pipe. You're gonna like these because they're just a little bit more supportive along that back style side. And then there's of course articulation that separates the upper and lower zones so you'll get less material pinching underneath your ankle strap. Uh, the outsole is actually a, a Michelin. Uh, it's a com combination of both Michelin rubber, you'll see in white in those high wear areas, and then Phylon too. So it's a combination of both lightweight and really rugged rubber. Um, this is actually really great. It has a nice little flex style notch. So when you're walking around, it, it doesn't seem too clunky. It actually kind of flexes along the bottom a little bit better than I thought it would. Inside of this bad boy is a what they call a mobile intuition style liner. Uh, it's custom heat moldable. Um, if you don't have access to a heat molder, it'll be body heat activated. There's exterior lateral and medial style support panels pretty much all the way up to the top. There's a plush style top external J bars, internal J bars, and then the lockdown turbo lacing system that's integrated into the liner. There's not an internal cuff uh, inside the boot. You don't really need an internal cuff because of that BOA uh, lockdown system, which is actually kind of nice. Um, but also it's been upgraded with uh, this kind of like new kind of gray, they, I think they call it like gold reflection or something. And it's supposed to keep the, the body heat inside the liner. And they also have it on the bottom of uh, this bad boy right there. So this reflection layer actually keeps heat inside your boot and keeps it cold outside your boot. And then underneath your uh, foot directly is gonna be this dual uh, 3D molded EVA style footbed. Uh, there's a harder drama rating in that heel area for a little bit of arch support in the cradle. Uh, and the rest is actually just kind of like lighter weight with perforations and a moisture wicking style top. Um, but is it gonna is it gonna support you a lot? Not nah, too much. If you have really high arches, you might want to get an aftermarket uh, a footbed. But if you have uh, kind of flat feet, this would be you know, fine. Um, overall, though, the lasso is a really rad boot. One to one last, stiffer than average, flex rating. Tongue tied is a thing that really is that awesome selling point. Um, and one reason that if I was going to choose a boot with or without it, I'd definitely choose the boot with. This is the lasso for 2019 from Ride. You can check it out at thehouse.com by selecting the link below in the description. Uh, leave a comment or question. Let me know what you think of this thing. Uh, subscribe to the channel over there.
watch more videos over there. If you like the videos, just hit that little notification bell button so anytime we upload something, you'll be the first to know about it. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the show. Peace. Yeah.